everyone, Letty here from Party Planner Paper Re. Today I'm going to share with you the Not Too Shabby Shop August 2023 Box of the Month. We are going to make a decorated gift bag today. So welcome back everyone. I'm on the design team for the Not Too Shabby Shop for this term. Here's their logo. I will list a website affiliate link down in the description box below in case you want to make any purchases. So I am showcasing the August 2023 box of the month from Not Too Shabby. You get two paper pads, two packs of ephemera, three stamp sets, and Jamie usually throws in a few freebies. We've got some enamel dots, a lollipop, and additional business cards. So there's two different collections this month. This one's Happiness is Homemade, 24 double-sided sheets. You get six designs, four of each it's really pretty i like the pinks and the mint color it also has like a copper color or rose gold sort of also in this mix it's like baking and cooking really cute happiness is homemade you do have some coordinating ephemera that goes with this paper pad i will show you a still shot of what comes in the pack here so you get a ton of just different really cute elements in this uh, ephemera pack and then you also have the second paper pad cooking with love and this is again 24 double-sided sheets you have some more holiday sort of festive kind of themes going on on this one i feel like there was some fall some as, as well as some thanksgiving and then some christmas kind of colors palettes and themes you've got pumpkins and leaves and then you've got some some bright reds that you could use for christmas so cooking with love there is also a coordinating ephemera pack you see there's some pumpkins and then some of that bright red and green here's a snapshot of what comes in that ephemera pack so you see here you have your sort of fallish your thanksgiving colors as well as those Christmas. So you've got two paper pads, two ephemera packs, and then we also have three stamp sets. So this first one is called uh, Live, Love, Bake. And so you have just some really cute little sentiments. Uh, you have one at the very top here, a bunch of really cute images on that. Then the second one is called Bake Me Happy. You've got a cute little mixer, but some bunch of really cute little sentiments, and then some really cute little images, some cupcakes and things. And then the third one is called Baker's Gonna Bake. So you've got a top and a bottom where you could put that image right in between this, like over your sentiments. You've got some fun sentiments, almost like in a Ray Dunn font, like a cupcake. So again, this is the August box of the month from the Not Too Shabby Shop. This is something that I'll be using this month. You've got two paper pads, three ephemera packs, and three stamp sets. I will again list my affiliate link down below for you. Let's dive into today's project. So for today's project, we're going to use the Happiness is Homemade Paper Pad as well as the Coordinating Ephemera. And let me show you real quick though, the previous project, I did a fun fold card. I will link my previous video down in the description box below in case you have not checked out that video. You can see we made one of these on camera and then I had one that was off camera. So this is the one I had already pre-made. So again, I will list that video down in the description box below for you. So today's project is gonna be decorated gift bags. And so we have done this on the Not Too Shabby Shop channel before. I've also done it on my personal channel. I got these bags from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Uh, you got 10 of them. Them. they're about a2 size um, and so I have already decorated two bags off camera here's what it looks like I put a little bit of a ribbon on one of the panels decorated the front I left the back plain um, I just think these are so fun and easy to make and they really can jazz up the look of a plain craft bag or any color bag so I'm using about 10 inches of ribbon and you could use any type of fiber I'm using a bag and then also going to have a large mat that's three and three-fourths by five inches that'll give me about a one-eighth border all the way around uh, my little medium sized bag here. And then I've got a scrap that's three and three fourths by one inch. And so that was basically the scrap when I cut it down from the six inch paper. You see, we have five inches high, one inch for that little scrap. I'm just gonna layer it on top of my mat. Then I will add uh, a die cut circle. And this one is about three and three quarters wide. You can use any kind of layering, you know, white die cut to put behind. I'll add my ephemera, tie my ribbon. These are the ephemera pieces that I've pulled out from the Happiness is Homemade Ephemera Coordinating Pack and I'm going to use those to decorate my little uh, decorated gift bag today. So I'm going to put my bag aside and we're going to start with the actual mat here. So I'm going to start with that little scrap. I'm going to glue it down to the larger paper mat just like this. So let me go ahead and bring out some glue and I'll add that to my little mat. And this is just a way of using up that little scrap that was left over. Then I'm going to add my die cut stitched white circle. And again, this one's about three and three quarters wide. I'm going to go ahead and figure out how I want my ephemera pieces and then go ahead and glue them down. And so you could use a uh, double-sided adhesive or wet glue for this project. Um, it's 
pretty much whatever you have on hand. I personally like uh, using wet glue because it's just easier to glue on to the pieces of the ephemera. And so I like to use several of them. So I'm using four on this one. Here is my finished little paper mat. You see it's very thin. I did not pop up anything, although you absolutely could. You could add some foam dimensional tape, pop up some of the elements or the sentiments. You could also, instead of using the ephemera sentiment, you could use one of the stamp sentiments from this stamp set. You've got a ton of different options here. So here is our, our decorated bag. It's pretty much ready to go. I'm going to just finish it off by tying this little piece of ribbon, and it's like a sheer uh, ribbon, to the front part of one of the sides of the handle. So you could leave your ribbon just hanging down. I'm going to go ahead and tie a little bow. If you are not familiar with the box of the month, this is a crafty subscription that Jamie has in the shop. You can check it out. You've got multiple items that come in this kit every month, and it is different. Usually you have two big themes. Um, and so I am really loving this theme this month is so super cute i'm loving this vintage sort of homemaker theme so again this is the august 2023 box of the month from the not too shabby shop two paper pads two ephemera packs three stamp sets and some little extra goodies today's project was decorated gift bags i had two off camera i made one on camera with you added some ribbon to finish off the bag we only decorated one side these were just some clearance bags i had picked up from hobby lobby so i think these are just a fun way to really jazz up your bags before you give out a present um so i think those are super super fun and then i will link my previous video down below i also have my affiliate website link that i'll link down below for you as well in case you want to use that again you can also check out hashtag n2s what's cooking to get even more inspiration using this box of the month from the not too shabby shop this month thanks for visiting everyone i hope you subscribe like this video follow us on instagram here are a couple videos that i think you might enjoy and as always happy crafting